I hope you still remember the rapper by the name of Lil Xan. In an interview, he once called Tupac's work boring and rated the legend's music 2 out of 10. Two. Born music. This of course caused a heated reaction on the internet, and rapper Waka Flocka Flame even said that now he's an outcast for the hip hop community. After all this, the rapper realizes how deep in shit he was and performed Shakur's popular song California Love at his concert. But something like that could not redeem him. One time in downtown Los Angeles, there was almost a shootout involving the rapper. He and his girlfriend Annie Smith stopped at a gas station. One of the visitors recognized the freshman and asked him a question about Tupac. Lil Xan didn't answer. Hey homie, you a bitch. Uh, yeah, that's why, yeah, yeah. Later on his official Instagram account, he admitted that he took out the gun for his own protection. The media is gonna try and twist what just happened at a gas station. I was about to be attacked and resorted to having to use self-defense. Fuck all you old head ass bitch still talking about that Tupac shit. Live your own life and stop picking on a kid. And this is what he had to say in an interview a week later. Nothing wrong against Tupac. I never dissed him because they edited the clip to like make it look like I hate all old school hip hop. It's up to you to decide whether to believe his words or not. XXX Tentacion in an interview with DJ Academics spoke about Tupac. Man, I'm, bro, I'm better than Tupac, bro. Please don't compare me to him. Please don't compare me to him. Please don't. Tupac can't make rap music. I mean, rock music. Tupac, Tupac was a dancer and a poet and a rapper. But he was a revolutionary too and a leader of men. Fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't give a fuck. While X concedes that Pac was able to articulate himself slightly more clearly than Biggie was in his music, but at the end of the day, he believes that the late Mr. Wallace was the better poet. To prove his point, XXX quotes part of the first verse from B.I.G.'s classic cut, Suicidal Thoughts, a dark, raw piece of writing that was off his first studio album, Ready to Die. I've been considered as the worst, lying to my mother, even stealing out a purse from crime after crime, from death to extortion, bruh. That shit is real, bruh! Many didn't take too kindly to his words, saying things like, X does this, X says that, X takes a shit at McDonald's, fucking give it up already, no one gives a fuck about this weak ass woman beater or his big ass opinions. I respect that music changes with time, but what this kid doesn't seem to understand is that Tupac was speaking to a whole nother generation and a whole nother time. No rapper now they can compare themselves unless they were around in 1996 and were around for the things that were happening in the world. Rappers nowadays make statements like this just to get attention. XXX is the most retarded rapper today. Lil Yachty is not a fan of old school hip hop and he has no problem saying it. His antics have caused quite a stir amongst the hip hop community as Yachty's dismissive behavior towards rap veterans is not something traditionally seen within the game. He thinks Biggie is overrated. I can't say the same for him. He also openly admitted that he is not familiar with either Tupac or Biggie's catalog and that he honestly can't name five songs from either of them. What you say? What you say? Drake is better than Tupac and Biggie. They ain't got shit on Drake. They ain't got shit on Drake. They don't have shit on Drake. What can they do that Drake can do? Drake rapping, singing. Yachty's argument was that he was doing other things and knowing the history of hip hop was not a priority for him. But if I do it my way and earn so much money, Yachty thought, why should I do it the way everyone says it should be done? I don't think it's cool because when I did it, it was, it was honesty an honest mistake. What was the way to make a move as I be loaded? Why you watch a drink of four as I just told it? Still that same nigga. Out of the entire list, Kodak spoke most disrespectfully about Tupac and Biggie, although at first it was more or less decent. I'm the hardest young nigga. I'm the hardest rapper in the game, I promise. Like, when you talk about me, you should, like, you should put me in a category of like Paul, Big, Nas, them niggas. Like, you feel me? Like, really listen to my shit. I don't care about how I act, like, on the ground. Like, you feel me? But then... People trying to say, oh, I can't put myself in a category with Tupac. Actually, I'm better than them niggas. You know why? Because I'm like, 
I love what I rap about. Them niggas was just like, them niggas was just legends, like, cause they died. I'm really like, I, I, I love what I rap about. He also dissed Lil Wayne once, and to be fair, it was pretty cold. <laughs> you play, you play. You fucking mad, you should have died when you was a baby. Lil Wayne left no comment, but his daughter clearly said that his new album sounds like her father's old shit. Good jet and I flew straight out to London. Whoa. A AR 15, that bitch came with a drum kit. She, she wanna f till I die. Till I die. Till I die. On the east side, till I die. In 2012, MGK called Eminem's daughter hot on Twitter, then in the song No Reason referred to Marshall's song Rap God. Beginning to feel like a rap god, rap god. All my people from the front to the back. So remind y'all, you just rap, you not gods. And I don't care who got bars. Later, he said that he was banned from Eminem's radio. <laughs> I'm my favorite rapper alive, says my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45. I Eminem dissed MGK in Not Alike, where he handed it to him and remembered the tweet he made about Haley. Already know who the fuck you are, Kelly. I don't use the blimps, and sure as fuck don't sneak this, but keep commenting on my daughter, Haley. Everyone was in complete shock that MGK had the courage to diss the hip hop legend. I think my dad's gone crazy. Yeah, Haley, you right. Dad's always mad cooped up in the studio yelling at the mic. Apart from this, he also said that Eminem's last four albums were shit, told how Marshall didn't want to hear him on his radio, and if he wanted to, he could have sex with Eminem's ex-wife Kim. And then Eminem releases Kill Shot. Marshall calls him a stan, says that at the age of 45 he's beating the young rapper in sales, and remembers old beefs. Putting your name next to John, next to Benzino, die, motherfucker, like the last motherfucker saying Haley in vain. In an interview, Eminem said that he was furious about the rumors that MGK bragged about being the GOAT since he was banned from Shade 45. I'm the greatest rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45 or whatever he said, right? Like I'm trying to hinder his career, so I give a fuck about your career. Lil Pump also had a confrontation with M after Marshall made fun of mumble rap and that Lil Pump and Lil Xan were stealing Lil Wayne's style. Punk Lil Xan imitate Lil Wayne, I said aim at everybody in the game, pick a name. I'm sure you heard rumblings, I heard you wanna rumble, like an empty stomach, I heard you mumbling but it's jumbled and mumbled. A lot of time passed and it seemed like everything was forgotten, but oh no. Hey, fuck Eminem, you is lame as hell, ain't nobody listening to your old ass, you lame as bitch. After such words, of course, everyone was on Eminem's side because to say that no one listens to him is at the very least stupid, especially if you compare the streams of both rappers. Marshall responded in an original manner, and on Twitter quoted his own lines from the song Book of Rhymes. You need to get off the internet, internet, you need to get you alive. At the beginning of 2021, Lil Pump was kind of shook when asked about Eminem. Understood the, the, the Eminem. Lil Pump, like what was that about? Who? Eminem. I don't remember that. You don't even remember that shit, huh, Pump? Yo, you mugged out. Yeah, this guy mugged. I even told you. I was like, my fault, I was asleep. I'm so sorry about that. And by the way, I need to find out what Lil Xan thought about Eminem mentioning him. Like, like MGK, you know, they went crazy with the diss, but mm. I, I was like, thank you, Eminem, like for acknowledging me. Like, shit, it's fucking amazing. Initially, Gucci Mane and Youngboy were on good terms. However, after Gucci Mane collabed with Lil Durk, gave him so much time and he's got weak and he was woozy. Watch the shit you say, the fist be listening to the music. Youngboy releases the notorious I Hate Youngboy. Fuck with Gucci till I think he like the pussy nigga. A few weeks later, Gucci Mane releases publicity stunt. Tryna pull up publicity stunt. These rappers be pussy, they bleed once a month. Don't speak on my name, don't get put in the blunt. You can diss all you want, still won't get a response. This is a straight diss at Youngboy where Gucci calls his diss track a PR move. He does not understand his decision to turn away from him and asks him a question. Are you my enemy or a fan? And at the end, he refers to make no sense. I thought you felt like Gucci man in 2006. 
as in the case of Youngboy and Gucci Mane, 6 9 and 50 Cent were on good terms. However, after Takashi was arrested and began to snitch, 50 Cent decided to put an end to their friendship. I, I, don't, I wouldn't fuck with him, man. Right. It's still just, you know, what it is is just against the way I grew up. Takashi didn't take too long to reply and wrote the following under a news post about it. Won't be the first time 50 abandons his son, let me just mind my business. For those of you who did not understand what the rainbow headed rapper was talking about, let me explain. Takashi trolled 50 by the fact that he is beefing with his eldest son, whose name is Marquise Jackson. After a big fight with the mother of his firstborn, Curtis said that he renounces Marquise. In addition, the father and son quite often take shots at each other on social media. And why did 6 9 mentioned the son of the legendary rapper. You see your son yet? Da -da -da -da. Nah, I ain't heard from 6 9 We're connecting with people. He's his mother's child now. He told on everybody. He better than Marquise, though. I'll take him before I take my actual father. <laughs> I recommend you check out the next video about the beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.